Hey guys, I'm Journey on occasion, and today is the final episode of our Naked Tyrion campaign. And I know it's the final episode because we've got basically nothing to do left, um, except hit end turn a lot, like this. It's pretty easy, right? You do that six more times, and then Tyrion can teleport over to the final battle. It's gonna be wild. I will hear your words, but I make no promises of aid. No. All right. Well, Tyrion, Tyrion is ready to go to Tour de Vres. As he do. So we just met, uh, we just found Torx the Browse Bull. He's still running around, which I think is pretty wonderful. Like I gotta say, this late in the campaign, to be able to see, like, decent Beastman characters still roaming around, actually participating in the campaign, it's rather wonderful. It doesn't seem like he's really gone that far afield, but, like, he's present, and that is great. It's really nice. I hope that's the case in Warhammer 3. I hope we keep seeing sort of Beastman running around and, and actually, uh, you know, leaving their mark on the world. Because Beastmen are just like... They are a classic. They are an absolute classic in Warhammer. They are an ever-present annoyance that exists everywhere. Everyone in the world has to deal with Beastmen turning up and causing a ruckus. So, you know, I, I want that to be felt. But anyway, the, a brutal business. Wow, this is for ten turns. We'll have this in the final battle. Wow, we are going to be doing some damage in the final battle. So, battle is a blood-soaked affair, limbs severed, bones exposed, men left for dead in the cross-soaked fields amongst scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat, and expertise mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cut clean through bones, severing heads and limbs, where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. Battle is a blood-soaked affair. Yes, it is. So, base weapon damage plus 20 for all armies of all factions. Faction wipe. Very cool. So, Edis? 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 Edis. Um, let's get you... Oh, I don't know. That one. Brilliant. And let's get that. I'm not even looking at what it is. Just, yeah. Cool. Let's do the thing. I'm trying to have a drink, and it just won't let me. Turns go by far too quickly. Uh, so, Yavathol. Uh, withering. Why the heck not? It's kind of irrelevant. And assign skill points. Wiston's wild form. Next turn. We're crushing it, guys. We're already getting through these turns. <laughs> just keep discovering him. He's not a very good ambusher, is he? We're not even there. We're not even here, and we keep spotting him. Although, I don't think it really matters. I think he's fine with us seeing him. Um, he seems to have everything under control. Silly Tordox. You silly Billy. So, he's well. Let's get... Rally. Brilliant. Oh my god, with you people with your skill points. I should have made him immortal, really. My bad. My bad. Uh, and is that it? Has everyone built all the things? Let's build that. Um, I don't think we have any more unique buildings that require building. Um, so, we probably, yeah. Really are just going to end turn a few times do the final battle, aren't we? There's not really much else to do. Once again, I'm just trying to enjoy my cup of tea. Silly. Right, let's have a look. Feindor. Let's get you that. And Tyrion. Well, now, Selefin actually does need to be getting um, things like this. Student of Howarth, 10% ward save and plus 8 melee defense. Really good. 80 melee defense with a 10% ward save from that. That is beautiful. That is a beaut. And why don't you have a sword? Have a sword. Swords for everyone. And also one of those. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, I think we're done. Cool. Good hustle, guys. Good hustle. The Phoenix Court will hear your words. No. We found him again. Not very, uh, not very good at hiding. And yes, all the things. I'm well aware. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like, where are we getting all these? There we go. Cool. Zelman upgrade available. Hell yeah. Wolves Anvil, tier 5. Wonderful.
Wardings of Vool. Dragon Princes getting some upgrades. I mean, better than nothing. We will have some Dragon Princes in the final battle, of course, so, you know, better they do something. Ward save for Phoenix Guard sounds great, but we will never get that technology done in time. Because, uh, well, one more one more turn, and uh, maybe we're about to see a cutscene. Can have Tyrion hop to action? It's going to be very exciting. Greetings. The Phoenix Court will hear your words. No. The star crown reforged. But the crown alone is not enough. It must be born into the vortex, delivered to Kalidor by a hero worthy of Safari. And yet the chittering Skaven lurk, defiling Althwan, awaiting the Horned One's arrival. The Vortex must be reclaimed, or the world is doomed. Oh, we can't have the... But is, this, is this really the time? Is this really the time? The courtiers align themselves before the court, all vying for royal attention and favour. Sycophantic, but necessary. No, it's unnecessary. Fate of the world, guys. The Ever Queen cares not for such pandering. She's too busy also not caring about the Vortex, apparently. And so the dispensation of favour falls to the Phoenix King. The Mages of Kalidor, the Horsemasters of Illyrian, and the Stalwart Defenders of Kithik all prostrate themselves before him, and he asks you whom he should favour. Uh, no favor. No one deserves favor. The treacherous grace yes, gave an assemble yeah, at the eye of the vortex, my lord. Their bid to summon the horned rat must fail. Attack and gain control of the vortex yourself. Exactly. He's getting very excited. At least he's keeping on. You know, he's not like a, a nobleman has arrived and he wants you to shag his daughter because high elves are weird. I like, know. Stop it. So, at the very heart of Ulthuan, upon the Isle of the Dead, the greatest of all battles must be fought. Enemies from many realms gather, ready for war. Under the shackles of the Council of Thirteen, the Gracia clan fight for dominance of the Vortex. Using power stolen from all rituals enacted thus far, they plan to transform the Vortex into a portal and summon forth their horned god from the realm of decay. The Star Crown is now reforged, and so the Vortex can be saved. But first, the Skaven must be stopped. Prepare for the ultimate battle. Um... So one thing, which I think is a shame, but I guess uh, widely necessary, is uh, this final battle. There's no fail state for it, where the whole world is now uh, sort of uh, the domain of the Great Horned Rat. Because how cool would that be as a story of this actually succeeding, and then the rest of the world having to team up to try and fight back uh, just a, a ludicrous uh, vermintide pouring from the portal, you know, essentially like horned rat demons it would be, essentially, you know, and I think that'd be really cool. It'd be such a fun story to tell, but, uh, you know, we could just stop it from happening because um, that's the whole plan, but still, how cool would it be? The darkness. Much, much cool. Much cool is how cool it would be. So we will fight a little bit of everyone. There's a Gracier clan, but of course everyone else is going to turn up to the party. It's what they do. Uh, Fildregar is a procrastinator. Sure is. Big, big important battle for the Vortex, and he's just milling about. Pathetic. Anyway, let's go. Come on, Tyrion. Oh, here we are. Yeah, there's there's a <laughs> just random grace here. Malakith, Mazdamundi. And uh, anyone else we should be aware of? Nope. No, that's it. Yeah, it's going to be a couple of different Skaven armies. I find it a bit sad there's not, like, a, a decent, like, proper representative of, um, like, of the Skaven. Like, it's just Boilrin. Like, the first army should be the, the Council of Thirteen one, but then there should be, you know, either Skrulk or Queek showing up to try and take, um, the glory from the, the... Council of Thirteen, because that's just such a Skaven thing to do, you know? I think they could still just put up, like, one of the Skaven pin-up girls, rather than relying on some generic whatever. 
to do the uh, the final battle. You know what I mean? And then, of course, if you're playing as Skaven, then just have the other legendary lord be there and not, and you know, not that one. Either way, everyone's going to be here to try and steal the glory, right? That's how it goes. Anyway, let's do it, guys. They're thinking valid defeat, so, you know, we couldn't we couldn't auto-resolve it, even if we wanted to. It's going to be super easy, though. Let's do it. My brother tells me that the world is in peril. That is not our responsibility, but the Vortex is. If the world suffers, so does Althwine. We cannot let the vermin bring their infernal god unto this island. Sons and daughters of Althwan, be ready to fight. Fight for your souls. Fight for your homeland. Althwan is defended. Ah, oh, marvelous. Let's go get him, boys. Let's go get him. Oh, we're still deploying. I kind of figured we were deployed because that's how, uh, you know, that's how these battles often are. But no, not today. Not today. Don't be silly. Okay, for duty, go over there. Uh, you guys, I mean, I hate that we're going to have this, the artillery raining down upon us. That's going to sting a bit. It's going to sting quite a lot, in fact. Loyal. Uh, Alright, you know what? All of you just... Go on. You're gonna go up there. You're gonna go up there, right? You should. Alright, just run in, Tyrion. And Tyrion does have his decent sword now, right? Sure does. He sure does. Okay. Oh, I was hoping to get a nice, um, nice overcast burning head through these guys straight away. But alas, it won't do. That'll do, though. Making my way. Making my way downtown. Ah, no, you get away. Get away. Go, Tyrion. Tyrion, heir of Anerion. Bring on the trumpets. So he's having a wonderful time, of course. Uh, one of you lot go that way. One of you lot can come back this way. I'd say things are going rather well here. Let's go handle that. Let's go handle this business. Well, why can't I select you? What are cliffs? So silly. Silly cliff. So, Fee's got to take an absolute walloping. They really have. Alright, now where's their lord? There he is. Good. So, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Especially Tyrion. Handsome devil. Uh, so, yeah, everyone seems to be having a, just the worst time. Not us, obviously. Just just the enemy. Uh, also, we do have infinite ammo right now. Which is nice. Yep, yeah, sure does. Doom sure does come. Abs absolutely right. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. I don't believe it. Alright, let's get some healing. Okay, you guys head back this way. And you lot can head downstairs. Here we are. There's some healing on them. Good. Ooh, here they come. Here they come. Eh, nothing too expensive. It's okay. We'll just start blowing stuff up. Cracking stuff. Alright, oh, it seems everyone is um, done. All right, defenses being shored up, that's for sure. Hands, 
Yes. Couldn't really hear what he was saying, to be honest. Uh, how are you still on the ground? You're not fighting anything, you just sat there, which is very weird. Uh, we can do another, another big, big explosion. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay. You lot can all head over this way. Now, where are my other dragon princes? There we go. Let's get my dragon princes lined up. On the flank. And Tyrion can run in like a champ. I want him to start getting his uh, Sword of Cain up again. Battle awaits. battle awaits, battle awaits, battle awaits, battle awaits. Right, we're doing great here. Do wonderfully. And oh no, the wild a wild Malekith has appeared. And a black dragon. Alright, what have you got for me? Ooh yeah, they all need to blow up. Nice. They sure did. Uh so Tyrion's gonna be fine there, don't worry about it. He'll be fine. Yeah, let's start shooting them. Oh, don't hit the... Oh. Rude. Yeah, Tyrion's doing fine. Uh, probably. Come oh, on, mate. Have him, yeah? Okay. Guys, move up. Okay, that's all great. Uh, let's blow them up some more. And, oh, he's having a terrible day, isn't he? Okay, let's start shooting into these shades. Don't like the idea of them remaining alive. Uh, yeah, that'll be fun. And check this out, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks versus Malekith. Isn't that wonderful? Everybody heal. Nice. I do love. I do love the idea of a a healing bomb. Very exciting stuff. Um. Yeah, I think we're probably fine over here. Don't like the idea of these um these Black Guard and Agarond loitering about here. That won't do one bit. But oh oh. Too horrible to die, is he? Well, I'll be down in a second. Alright, let's hit him. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, this will get him, right? This will get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go get him. Go get him, boys. By boys, I mean that fireball. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like they don't even want to die. Ridiculous. Well, it's fine. Dark elves are dealt with, I suppose. And here come the Lizardmen. I know them. Alright, come here, you. And uh, group seven now, apparently. I have a lot of groups. Uh, Alright, let's start by blowing them up. Vaguely. Oh, they sure do. Ooh, yeah, you need to be healed. You stand on top of each other. You stand on top of each other so I can I can blow you all out to good health. Nice. Air of Anarion. Alright, that's Tyrion. Do do. Do do. Alright, blow him up again. Uh, bang. Nicely done. Proud of you. Alright, Tyrion. Go get him, boy. Go get him. It was a bit preemptive. I should really wait until I'm in range of the archers, at least. Before I run in like a psycho. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for the, uh, Shrine. Uh, Shrine of Cain? Sword of Cain. Yeah, I'll wait for these guys. All the Temple Guard coming in. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna wait for. Uh, bam. Okay, good. 
Uh, let's... Oh God, what's going on there? Some weird stuttering going on over here. Oh well. Let's blow up some lizards. Nice. I do love that the little bits that come off of that spell also, um... God, yeah, really shaky uh, frame rate right now. Yeah, I like the little bits that come off also do big damage. Like, it's not just a visual thing, but there'll actually be, you know, more damage being done. Which is very cool. Okay, let's shoot the crap out of uh, Hexel here. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Um, well, it's not yours yet. It's not getting ahead of ourselves, eh? Oh, is he actually coming in for... Okay, why? Why are you doing that? This is absolutely not your thing. Like, absolutely not your thing. See? God, I don't think I've ever seen... <laughs> someone go down that quickly. Unbelievable. Alright, Dragon Princes. You go handle them, alright? Ooh. Ooh, that was spooky. It's alright, though. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh... Alright, let's hit them then. Hey, Mazda Mundi's down here. I feel like I can take him. Okay, good. And let's handle this lot, like so. Go on, go get him. Go get him. Okay, brilliant. Do mad damage now. Uh, group 5, go those temple guard, please. And I can hit them again. Yeah, blow them up. Perfect. And uh, where's our areas? Lord Master of Power. Can do some healing. <clears throat> and uh, you can probably. Probably finish him off, right? Oh, hello. Final attack to seize the projects. Oh, hate it when they do one final attack. It's the worst kind of attack. He sure does. And there goes Master Mundi. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. Okay. Lovely stuff. I feel like uh, I feel like our our dragon's taking a lot of hurt, which is very sad. All right, let's heal you up, and let's blow these guys up a bit, just a bit. You know, you don't need to go mad. Oh, that was a little bit mad, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Good times. Lore master of power. It's just he's way too into it. Immediately. Okay, you go handle that, all right? Go handle, go handle your business. Okay, his walk fire throws are gonna sting a bit. Oh, how are things looking? Looking all right. Looking all right. Let's um. No. Oh. oh, they're off. All right. Blow them up then. Perfect. And oh no! Oh, those death runners—they are death runners. Oh, that's no good. Come on, come on, click! Ah, sometimes clicking on banners just is just like a, a, a nice little in joke. You know, it's just like oh yeah, wouldn't it be funny if, if clicking on a thing would select it? Okay, let's blow them up as well. And blow them up. Heal these guys. And okay, everything's already running. That's disappointing. That would have been that would have been a real exciting spell. 
Okay, let's kill a help in abomination. Let's make the dragon princes look bad. Okay, let's get rid of these clan rats and and yeah, yeah, flame storm is definitely definitely an appropriate spell to deal with a unit of clan rats. It's just you know that's how it is. Okay, good. All right, go handle them if you would. Help hit abomination being. Absolutely slaughtered. Uh, let's get some healing. Marvelous. Not a lot, honestly. Could have could have been a lot better, but it's good enough. Um, probably just keep chasing him, right? Let's throw random fireballs at them. Is that? Is it? So is this the last? Is this the last army? I guess I've destroyed the rest, haven't I? Yeah, I think I've destroyed the last of them. Yeah. Disappointing. Well, he can he can sod off. Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna put a nice shiny tiara on our boy Calador, and then you'll have you won't have a leg to stand on, mate. Yeah. Get out of here. Power of jewelry. Heroic victory. Yeah, it was. A glorious victory. Very glorious. Much glorious. Such vortex. Uh, so forced labor, obviously. Yep. My A horned god banished. Vermin purged from the island's shores. Alfwan's defenders are brothers in arms again. And a hero. A lawmaster. One who has proven worthy of the Star Crown. To bear its power, walk into the vortex, and become the Maelstrom. Ours is a world of fleeting glory. But it is glory nonetheless. Well, there we go. Job done. There we go. Victory. Tremendous. So, despite your efforts, uh, despite the efforts of your enemies, you, uh, your will has prevailed, and the Great Vortex is secured. Your triumph has ensured that no enemy can ever again threaten the Great Enchantment, which protects the world against the forces of chaos. Bathe in glory, even as your enemies cower. Hail to the victor. You may now choose to begin a new campaign. Stop it. I want more drama, silly. And yeah, this is uh, not worth looking at, honestly. Um, it's, you were there. You were there, guys. Go watch the, the whole series again, if if you want to see this happen. So, um, current turn, 157. Really? 157? Wow. We skipped a lot, though, didn't we? Just sort of hit end turn quite a bit. Total armies, nine established, six total. Pretty cool. Killed 102 lords. Lost six. It's a lot of lords lost. A lot lost. Victories, 108. Seven losses. Aftermaths. Mostly settlement occupied. We did not. We did not pardon many people. Took on a lot of people. Though that is mostly um, taken on is shorthand for enslaved. So, you know, not great. Recruited 12 heroes. Didn't lose any heroes, amazingly. Well, how about that? Uh, wow, one failed hero action. Isn't that fun? It's exciting. We did good. We did good. So where's the... Um, should there not be a... Uh, ritual complete? Victory? I guess there isn't a specific epilogue for having done that. That's a shame. Okay, well, fine. Tyrion wins. Huzzah. Vortex secured. In fact, I'm not going to hang out with Tyrion. Let's hang out with the Vortex. Isn't that lovely? Lovely Vortex. This is our Vortex. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think the, the naked playthrough um, gimmick, it's just sort of um, a normal playthrough, but with less variety. 
it doesn't really have that much challenge. It's not like I'm playing on Legendary or anything. Um, you know, it's a bit unique, but really it just means we're missing stuff, which, I don't know, just, um, we can go off in fewer directions. So, I don't think it was quite the gimmick that I thought it was going to be. May as well just do a different campaign, you know, with all the stuff on it. If I want to not recruit something, I could not recruit it, but it's nice to have the option, so, I don't know. But anyway, um, I generally didn't notice much <laughs> that I was missing stuff, so, don't know. I guess, I guess it's fairly feature complete without the DLC, huh? But anyway, guys, if uh, you disagree and you think that you should have all the DLC, then why don't you go and buy it all on nexus.gg slash Janet, and then I get a kickback for it. Wasn't that a great segue? I'm getting better at them. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. And yeah, stay tuned for whatever the hell comes next. I'm sure it'll be something. You have to wait and find out. See you then, guys. Have a good one.